Hi, I'm Anna Denton Jones of Refreshing Law Limited, and I thought everybody needed a bit of cheering up in lockdown. So today we're actually joined by a very special guest, Darcy the Dash Hound has decided that she is an expert on e-signatures, haven't you? So today we're going to both talk to you about e-signatures and this is probably quite relevant because you may be working from a different location to staff and able to get together and sign wet signatures um, to contracts of employment or maybe other things like settlement agreements or um, deeds of restriction, non-disclosure agreements, things that you might be entering into with staff. Um, recently the Law Commission uh, looked at all the case law uh, in this area as to whether or not signing by other means is uh, legal um, and valid and on the whole it is. So in these difficult times if you need to make alternative arrangements then um, you are able to do that. Now of course there are different ways of applying an e-signature. You might have software, um, you might use something like um, PDFs um, where you are able to download a signature and uh, sign in that way. Um, but there are other alternatives such as a JPEG scan of somebody's signature, actually typing in the name and of course the sorts of signatures that we all now have to do when we sign for things where you apply a stylus to an iPad or something like that. Um, obviously certainly platforms for signature will have more sort of security mechanisms built into um, their systems that are designed to prevent um, fraud and things like that. So there might be PIN numbers or other ways to um, authenticate that somebody is who they say they are before they sign. Um, so you might want to think about those sorts of things. Um, there will be occasions where you need to sign something as a deed. So um, if you're introducing restrict restrictive covenants, for example, without any consideration, or if you've got a power of attorney in uh, a contract of employment in relation to things like intellectual property clauses or director's clauses, things like that, um, then quite often that document is going to need to be witnessed by somebody else. Um, it is okay for somebody's family member to witness, so an employee's family member is, is legitimate to um, witness that kind of document, so don't worry about that. From the company's perspective, then you might need to think about whether the company can sign electronically. That will be down to its article of association, um, whether the articles say the company has that power, um, and also um, who you've set internally as having the authority to do that, um, having sort of risk policies around who is allowed to sign, obviously is sensible anyway. Um, so hopefully you found that useful, and um, I think Darcy quite enjoyed being famous for five minutes, didn't you? Um, and thank you very much, over and out from me at Refreshing Law Limited, and hope to speak to you all again soon.